Well, 2019 may be over, but according to the management at Arawaki, the dust is still settling. The newly privatized event has gotten mixed reviews, but according to the manager of Arawaki, Paul Willey, major challenges in this year's event demand greater planning. Willey says as the event was in full effect on Saturday afternoon, with its route including Arawaki, there were unforeseen challenges which left damages at the bathroom facilities there. Someone used the bathroom and what they did, they break, we put a, on, their signs in the bathroom not to flush, to use your feet uh, flushing the bathrooms. Someone went and they used their feet to flush the, the toilet. And when they did that, they put pressure on the toilet because in the back of it is just a PVC pipe. And when you put, apply pressure to it, it breaks the, uh, the, the PVC pipe. With carnival celebrations ongoing Saturday at Arawaki, administrators say staff at the facility was unindated with efforts to keep the Eastern Restroom facility functional after those damages were inflicted. Site Supervisor Rosalind Cartwright says it was a major challenge even for tourists attempting to find the facilities. When I rushed in there, the bathroom was all already over flooded. The water was coming from in the ladies' bathroom, straight out in the hall, the corridor, Back in the man's bathroom, down on the step. 